and welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video we will be covering the basics of quality of service or QoS on the Orbit MCR 900. Please see our other videos on the command line interface and the web interface for how to configure the unit. Quality of service is comprised of two functions, classification and queuing. Classification identifies and marks traffic to be placed into appropriate classes or sub-queues. For example, VoIP traffic can be marked for a VoIP class, SCADA traffic can be marked for a SCADA class, and so on. Traffic can be classified on any of the shown parameters. Policies organize the classes, or sub-queues, into a main queue for processing order. The order is based on the priority value given to each class. Let's look at a generic QoS tree structure to visualize the pieces covered thus far. As you can see, we have a main policy at the top, which contains up to eight classes. Note that the class names are arbitrary and can be any name you wish. The classes themselves each contain a priority value. Priority values can range from 1 to 16. Each class also contains at least one classifier. Again, the names of the classifiers are arbitrary. So what happens if a packet or frame matches two classifiers? Let's look at an example where we have two such classifiers. The first is set to identify any traffic with a source IP of 192.168.1.1 and the second classifier is looking for any traffic with a destination port of 21. This is also the FTP port. Which class will it be marked for? This is where the metric comes in handy. The lower the metric value on the classifier, the earlier it will be processed. By default, the metric is set to a value of 10, so as long as the classifier you wish to be processed first is set to a lower value, then it will be marked and sent to the proper class. Now that we have a basic understanding of how QoS works on the Orbit MCR 900, let's look at a more specific example. Let's say that a user wants to prioritize a specific ether type above all other land traffic. In this case, the ether type is Goose. Then the next priority traffic they want is all traffic on VLAN 101. Let's say they also want to give a low priority to FTP traffic. Lastly, all remaining traffic that does not match any of the provisioned classifier needs a priority as well. This is called the default priority and must be set. As you can see in this block diagram, the numeric assignment is only of importance in their relationship to each other. For example, you could change the FTP traffic class from priority 15, as shown, to 14 with no effect on traffic. You may have noticed that with this configuration, we may have a conflict between the VLAN 101 classifier and the FTP classifier. For example, if FTP traffic comes in that is tagged with VLAN 101, currently it will be marked as priority 2. Since we want all FTP traffic to be a low priority, we will need that classifier to be processed first. Therefore, it would be a good idea to set the metric on the FTP classifier to something lower than 10. So what will happen if there is currently no Goose traffic and no VLAN 101 traffic, but there is a heavy amount of other traffic that does not match our classifiers? With our current configuration, this traffic will be queued in a first-come, first-serve order. This can be sufficient for most setups, but what if we want the traffic to be treated fairly? This is where the fairness functionality comes in. We can apply a secondary fairness policy to the default traffic by configuring a new class. Note that you can apply the fairness policy to any of your other classes as well. So now that we have an idea of what we are trying to accomplish, we need to do the following. Create classifiers, create a policy or policies with classes, apply the main policy to the NX radio interface, and finally commit the changes we have made. Now that we've covered the basics of quality of service on the Orbit MCR 900, you'll want to move on to configuring the unit. To see how that's done, please see our videos on the command line interface and the web interface. Thank you for watching another GEMDS training video.